Hello, my name is Kim, professor of Kalasangam University, India. Uh, today is first lecture of the Fourier transform. Let me explain the meaning of a transform, meaning, uh, general meaning of a transform. Then how to transform a variable u to v like this. Then function of u to v. How to transform u to v. Okay. For example, uh, in case of x over t to x over s, of course s is a complex number. Uh, we call this Laplace transform. And x over n, in case of a waveform, x over n to x over z, we call this g transform. And also x over t to frequency domain, x over f, we call this continuous time Fourier transform. And also in case of a discrete x of n to x of f frequency domain, uh, we call this discrete time uh, Fourier uh, transform. For transform u to v, okay, then f over u is here. Uh, we multiply the g function of g u v, and uh, if we take integral with respect to variable u, then variable u will be removed like this. Then finally, we can get the variable function of uh, variable v. We call this general concept of transformation u to v. Like this. Also, discrete time case also, f of n, and then it's multiplied by a g, a function of g m n, and then we uh, summation carry we carry the summation through the uh, variable n. Then n will be removed. Then finally we can get function of m. Like this. By the way, here g u v and the g m n is the. What kind of these functions can be used? For this, uh, we need to use some kind of orthogonal functions. But there are many kinds of orthogonal functions for transform uh, this kind of a complex exponential function used uh, very popularly. Also, uh, g, g power over g m, m n u v is continuous case m n is a discrete case okay for my lecture uh, this guy I, I, let me review notations continuous time domain this time domain for the time uh, up lower case over t and uh, the upper case this is period discrete case is, is n this is m also the t Lower case is a variable, variable, and uh, t, t is constant. This is a period. Okay. And uh, unit is second. In case of disk time, this is a no unit. Also, of course, nm is a integer, integer also. And the frequency, uppercase of f, hertz, or one by second. In case of this time, we use lower case of f. It's a normalized frequency by sampling frequency. Also, you can see here, uh, no units. Angular frequency, omega equal to pi f and omega equal to pi f. In this case, uh, the unit is radian. In this case, radian per second. Because this is a radian, this is a, uh, one by second. Okay, waveform uh, x over t, x over n, this is a lower case. This is a lower case. Therefore, usually we can represent the waveform with a lower case. And spectrum, uh, we usually represent uh, uppercase, that is x over f, omega, 
x over apple like this. The Fourier transform, uh, John Baptist Joseph Fourier, French. He was mathematician, physicist, and also historian as well. Uh, just before I mentioned for transforming u to v, we multiply by g u v and uh, integral with respect to d u. And for this, as just before I mentioned, uh, we uh, use this kind of uh, complex exponential function. Then we can rewrite like this. Instead of this, we can use also instead of those waveform. Then now here, function of t, function of the omega and the t, with respect to t, then t removed, then the omega is removed. This is x omega. We call this spectrum. And also, this is a real number. This is a co uh, complex number. As you know, this from the complex number, we can take norm over g and angle over g. At this here also, from, uh, from this, we can take norm of x over omega, we call this amplitude spectrum, and uh, angle of x over omega, we call this phase spectrum. We call this Fourier transform. Especially, there is continuous time, therefore we call this continuous time Fourier transform. Sometimes you can rewrite continuous time Fourier transform also. In case of a discrete signal here, uh, now you can say in, instead of integral, you can use the uh, summation x of n multiplied by exponential uh, to, the, to the power of minus a omega n. Then here the n, n removed, then the x omega. Also like this, you can use amplitude spectrum, phase spectrum like this. We call this also spectrum. Especially, x of n is discrete time signal, that we call this discrete time Fourier transform. Thank you so much for your watching. Today I explained the basic concepts of a variable transform and how to extend the transform from general expression to Fourier transform. Uh, next topic is the formulas of Fourier transform in detail and the conditions for x over t to have a Fourier transform. Sometimes we call this Dirichlet conditions. Please look forward to next lecture. Thank you very much.